Hey folks, if you're looking to add more botanical creatures to your campaign, this review is for you. So we got sent the Botanical Bestiary to review. Uh, we got sent the Pathfinder 2nd edition version. There's also a 5th edition version. Uh, and all of these wonderful leshies were created by Matt Cavanaugh. And the gorgeous artwork is by Sita Duncan. Before we dive into the review, if you're new here, hi, I'm Dawn and this is Rural for Initiative. We make videos here every week all about tabletop RPGs and our other geeky interests. So why don't you hit that subscribe button and you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Okay, let's go check out these leshies. The first thing that really caught my attention was the artwork. In some ways it kind of reminds me of like Hayao Miyazaki or like those old Lord of the Rings and Hobbit animated movies. It's this really cool mix of kind of chibi cute as well as creepy cute. All the different variants are so distinct but it captures so much of the personality of all of these different Leshies. So what do you get in this book? You get 65 Leshy variants. These are all inspired by the Pathfinder 2 Leshy. I really like the story that Matt created all of these um, during COVID as this fun creative outlet. People liked it. He put together this Kickstarter. It worked really great uh, to create all of the art and now it's something that you can get and run in your game. So you get 65 Leshy variants and they're pretty diverse both in their DC all the way from a little cork Leshy which is negative one all the way up to the giant honey mushroom which is a level 22. As well as it's diverse in the type of environments they live in from forests to deserts, aquatic caves to mountains, it covers the gambits of terrain. So you're going to have something um, that you can incorporate kind of no matter where in the world, what level that it is that you're wanting to introduce uh, these fun potential like combat encounters or just these really cool characters. Each entry has a full stat block, lore, as well as fun facts about either the Leshy or the real life plant that the Leshy is based on. I particularly like these real life facts and could very easily see you incorporating them into your campaign. Um, things like if they're poisonous or not, um, what the plants are used for uh, in real life could help drive your characters to go find those plants and perhaps run into the Leshy variant of it. A big thanks to all of our patrons, especially Tucker. If you want to support our channel, you can head on over to patreon.com slash roll for initiative and check out the perks of being a patron. Okay, let's find out more about this book. The lore and fun facts in this book is really where it shines. There are so many nuggets of ideas there to spark ways to utilize these creatures in your campaign. I'm going to go over a few of my favorites, but I, it was very difficult to pick these. <laughs> the driftwood, I really like the idea that's introduced in the fun fact of having a pirate captain driftwood leshy and his crew completely of driftwood leshies sailing the seas and, you know, pirating. Like, cute, adorable, also terrifying. <laughs> The Seba, um, I really like the lore introduces this idea of one of these trees that contains the spirit of a devil. And then what might happen if it were released when the trees cut down? I could even see you doing like a whole campaign or arc around that idea. The Juniper, I just love the art as well as the tie-in uh, to gin, which happens to be my uh, hard alcohol of choice. Um, and also the fact that it included one of its attacks is a cask toss. It's just fun. The ghost pepper is one of the few like ghost undead leshies um, and it is when a pepper leshy is killed and I like that it has a spicy breath that causes afterburn. Just like those kinds of really cool ideas and the like pepper but then adding in the ghost pepper like a lot of thought went into these uh, leshy variants. I like that the pyro orchid um, plays on the idea that some plants need fire for regrowth, whether it's just clearing out and allowing for regrowth or having seeds that need fire to be able to like crack the shell and get them started. Um, I thought it was also a cool way to incorporate a plant creature that has fire because that's uh, something that kind of seems like it would um, not go together. <laughs> the tumbleweed, love that it has a seed pistol. Um, this feels like it would be very much at home in a western themed campaign and it gives an example of the variety that's offered in these different variants. And then finally, three leshies in a trench coat. 
I mean, come on, that's just adorable. And I now want to meet this NPC in a campaign. I also really like that there are instructions on how to use any leshy variant to make your own if you don't want to use the provided avocado leshies. Additionally, you get 10 Leshy Heritages. There are all the stats that you need for these heritages. Now you will need to refer to um, the book that has the Leshy NPC from Pathfinder for the ancestry stats. Um, but I really like that these heritages allow you to really customize a Leshy character. And this in particular, kind of combined with all of the different variants in this book, really, really makes me want to run a campaign or be in a campaign where all the player characters are leshies. Like, I might have to really make this happen. So if that's something that you would be interested in maybe seeing as a stream game, um, let me know in the comments down below. And then finally in the back is a very well organized appendix that lists the leshy variants by level and environment. So that's going to make it very easy for you as a game master to find something that's going to fit the encounter, um, whether it's the DC or where in the world that you are, as well as there's a glossary of terms. So you don't have to reference to back to the core book for some of those terms. As I said before, this is tailored for Pathfinder 2nd edition, but there I know there is a version for D&D 5th edition. Um, all the same leshies, just statted out for 5e, although I'm not really sure what that means for the heritage section. So if you've happened to pick up that uh, book, let me know uh, how it works out with that. So you can pick this up. The PDF is only $15, and if you want the hardcover, which the artwork is gorgeous, and I think is totally worth it for $45. It really feels like a great price because of the great quality of art, the amount of variants, as well as the insightful lore. Like you're going to get a lot of use out of this if you are really looking to add these like botanical um, beasts into your campaign. So I'd love to know if you've picked up the botanical bestiary um, or if you run with a leshy player character. How was that? Um, or I, I know I've played in I've played in a game where there was a leshy uh, familiar and it was very fun. Uh, it was a fun mushroom kind of grumpy mushroom guy. Um, but yeah, I very I, I'm, I'm now really considering creating a game with a leshy party. Like, that would just be fun. All right, so until next time, I'm Dawn, and this is Rural for Initiative. Bye! Why is the book happy? I don't know. I'm hopping around. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop.